elevator. People are usually lifted to the tops of tall buildings by elevators or lifts. An elevator car is raised by a windlass that is turned by an electric motor. Tracks keep the car moving in a straight line. A weight balances the weight of the car so that it is easier to pull up the car. The motor of the elevator can turn the windlass either way. It can wind up the cable and raise the car. It can unwind the cable and let the car go down. Electric wires go from the car to the motor. A person in the car can make it go up and go down or stop by using switches in the car. You can make a model of an elevator as follows. Materials required 1 plywood sheet about 24 inches into 12 inches 6 cotton thread wheels 6 nails 1 cardboard box String A small weight One toy boy and one toy girl. Drive nails through spools into the wooden board. Take a cardboard box without the lid. Tie one string to the bottom of the box and two strings to the top of the box. This box will act as the car of the elevator. Slip the bottom string of the car over the spools marked 4, 3, 2 and 1. Wind the string several times around spool 2. Tie its other end at the top of the box. Run the second string from the top of the box over spools 5 and 6 and finally fasten it to a weight of about 100 grams to balance the weight of the car. You can put two toys, one a boy and the other of a girl, in the box as passengers. Turn the windlass spool two with your fingers. The car will go up and down. You can make this model more attractive by putting it in a model building constructed of cardboard.